morning. So right over here, we have a word that you've seen before, which is the coal shaka, which is that dukish, duckish, duchess word. Now we're going to learn what actually is duchess, as in being very specific in the womanliness. Any guesses how we might read this woman kanji here? He used the formal kanji reading of jo, is it? That's a good like guess, but it's actually it's just on, onna. So, onna. <laughs> yep, onna koushaku would be a duchess in Japanese. Onna koushaku. And theoretically, koushaku on I... its own is just not being specific. It's just the duke or the lordship, maybe. It's like gender neutral. <laughs> Money. Hi. Does the word mona sound rude? Like it onna. normally sounds onna. weird. But uh, this book specifically uses onna, uh, koshaku, and I wouldn't say really a rude way. So mm. if you say onna on its own, it is rude. Um, but that that's more like out of like sexism than anything else, because otoko isn't rude, right? But they're both like the same. They both one means boy, one means girl. So if you say like onna, blah, 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 mm -hmm. then of course it's going to sound bad. It's like that woman, that that lady, like got have a. Be like, hey, money. You know what I? Hi. You know what I just noticed from the slide before. Hi, 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 hi. You had fireworks on your slides, so you use firework magic. It's forbidden. Also... <laughs> <laughs> you shall be exiled. I'll be exiled by the own Michael <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. hi. Uh, do you know how to read these two bolded words? Okay. Um, this is hard. So the first one is reply. So, your reply. Your hanji. Close. Henji. Right? Han close. Henji. Hi. And then this other one is to make use of. Mm. This is a job Ga that does have to do with that. Is a job. It's it meshi meshi sky or something like that. Hi, meshi, meshi sky. sky. Hi, a servant. Meshi sky. Meshi sky. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so let's go read this from Nebody's diary. Onna koshaku kara henji ga kita. The reply of the Duchess arrive. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Kawaru. Kawawaru. <laughs> Oops. How'd that happen? Kawaru. Um, so kawaru is to change, and it is a u verb. So kawarimas no kawaru. Um, but what's the change in Japanese? Ka. Water. Hi, kawaru. Can you read this for me? Kiga kawaru. Hi, kiga kawaru. Change feeling. Yeah, this in English we probably would say the change your mind, but literally it is to change your feeling, change your aura, your sense of something. So let's go read this example sentence. It said, "It's." Onna koshaku no ki ga kawaru kawakata mono dewa nai. Mono dewa nai is such a thing is not the case. So Hi. this is an explanation type of phrase. Hi. That is not such a thing. Hi. It is not so. The what kind of mono? I would say it's a ka. thing mono. It is a ka, kawakata mono. Uh, kawaruka? Kawaruka wakata. Hi. So this ka right here marks an embedded question. Embedded question. This right here fully says this whole thing right here is its own baby. 
This is all underneath this ka. And the ka is basically acting as a to for wakatta. What does wakatta mean? Understood. Wakatta. Hi. So we got do not understand. It's not understood. What is not understood? Itu. Onna koshaka no ki ga kawaru. It's a refer to when. Hi. Onna kashoku. Kashaku no ki ga. Wakaru. When did the Duchess change her feelings? Exactly. So. Or when, not. Or not. Exactly. When. Like basically when or if. The Duchess will change her feelings. This is not something that is known. Is what it says. So it is not something to know whether or not when the Duchess will change her mind. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. If and when. So, so. If, if and when. when. Time. Time. Yep. Ho. This should be Tai Ho, correct, which is arrest. Tai Ho. It's funny because like Akira's being slow on my end, and it's like surprisingly not that bad on your end. <laughs> um, what is the te form of Kiga Kawaru? Kiga Kawaru in the te form is Kiga Kawaru. Te. Hi, perfect. With that glottal stop. Can you read this sentence? Ihe wa dorobo o taiho shita. The guard. Ehe. Ehe. Soldier arrested the thief. Perfect. What is the passive form of sudu from? Tai ho suru. Passive. Shire. Shireru. That is really close. But do you remember what vowel passive form likes to give things? For example, if this was yomu, is it going to be yomi? Redu? Or is it going to be something else? Mareru? Hi. Adding a there. So, yo mareru. Yo mareru. So, here, we're going to get that s and we're going to add an a to it to make sareru. Taiho sareru? Are. It's passive form. Areru. Sareru. I will, oh, yeah. I will be captured. Will yeah. be arrested. Will be arrested. Now we get the go read the what nobody wrote in his diary. Shikashi, it's onna shak onna koshaku no ki ga kawatte taiho sareru ka wakatta mono de wa nai. However, when or whether, whether or when the Duchess will change her mind about the arrest, about my arrest, right? Because right. it's more like sareru. Well, change your mind and get me arrested, basically. Get me arrested. Uh, such a thing is not known. Exactly. Perfect. Mono de wa nai. So, so. Do you remember how to read this guy? The guy in the bowl. Kinjimasu. Hi. Kinji. Kinjimasu. Perfect. How do you think you read this word, which means things to definitely not do? Kinmotsu. Hi. Kinmotsu. Things should not do. Forbidden Hi. things. Hi. So that things you're not, you should not do started with kin. What did it end with? Motsu. Hi, hi, hi. And you it's got a the kanji for mono. Hi, it, it is the kanji for mono. So mono has two readings. It's mono or motsu. And it's kind of random which one it is. In general, hi. if you see two kanji, motsu is a little bit, I think, more likely. 
But uh, mono is just as likely like mono, like uh, oto mono, mono oto. I don't know. Uh, right. Sound stuff. So, yeah, that is the same kanji as thing. So, this is hanabi o skao majutsu wa kinmotsu da. The magic technique that uses fireworks it is a forbidden thing it is a king right. right so kimotsu does kind of mean a forbidden thing but it's mostly used to mean you should avoid to do it so rather than like literally being it is forbidden it means uh you shouldn't do that it's something that should it, it feels more like that than the literal meaning of forbidden item even though it is what what used to describe forbidden things, just means that should be avoided. You done. Hi. You know what you done means? You is like oil. Mm. Hi. Hi. Done uh, is some kind of oil. Da, it's a good guess because you does mean um oil. But uh, use also used in like other meanings as well. So I'm not sure exactly where this came from, but it means careless. So maybe don't be careless with the oil lamp so you're going to light your house on fire. You don't mean careless. Hi, careless. You don't. Okay. When you're ready, let's go read the line from the book. I'm really short guy. You don't wa kinmotsu da. Carelessness should not should not be careless. Yes, you should avoid being careless. Perfect. So our next word, yasuragite. Te is used to go at the end of like mansions, basically like a fancy house. And yasuragi is like peacefulness. So this is like the house of peacefulness. So this is like the name of the house, just like how we had um Yugureyaski, which was the mansion of Twilight or something like that. So this is just another name. This is just a name for a fancy building. Yasuragi te. Yasuragi te. Hi, Yasuragi te. Um, when you got a sentence, we got a moment. Let's go read our example sentence. Otoko wa yasuragi te ni morotta. The man. Return to the Yatsuragi Te. Hi. The house of peace, the house Perfect. of quietness. Yeah. Nice. Um, do you know what Kyokka means? Kyoka or Chokka? I heard this. Kyokka. It's a small. Chokka. Chokka. Kyo. Kyokka. This is... mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Like some sort of a spoken thing? Good guess. A it, it just... That's a good guess, but it just means permission. So someone says, okay, that's chokka. Uh, chokka. No, no glow stop. I keep on thinking, I keep on saying it was a glow stop. Chokka, chokka. Uh, permission. Permission. And we got a chance. Let's go read our example sentence. Yatsuragi te ni modoru kyoka. The permission to return Hi. to the house of peace, house of quiet. Perfect, perfect. You know what kamao means? Kamao. It has the kanji for to the size of sideways of some sort it does look a little bit like yoko i think that's what you're thinking of here's yoko um that's mm -hmm. such an ugly color yoko. Right. Yoko. It does look like yoko. very very similar this is the horizontal side word kamau that's, that's it's not very much related to that kamau is to mind to care about but it, it's normally like not like I care about you. It's more like it's normally used in a negative sense to mean like 
I don't care what you think. <laughs> Something like that. Or, Poosh. Like it's it's normally that kind of care. Um, but it, like to have an issue with something tends to be how it's um used. Kamau. So kamau means to have an issue with something to care about. Mm. Any guesses how to read this word? Something riru. Hi. Kariru. Interesting guess. This would be oriru. We've seen this before to mean the descent. What do you do? To go down something. Mm. But it has a second meaning, which is to be granted or to be issued or to be given something. Like to be given permission. What do you do? Mm. Go down from above. So, so. Someone above grants you permission. Um, Can you read this for me? Onna koshaku no kyoka ga orita. The permission of the Duchess was granted. Hi, perfect. Kind of like was received in this case. Come down, came down. Yep, it came down. The permission came down. What is the Kamal. negative? Hi. Kaman anai. Yeah, kama um, anai is a really good way of thinking about it. But sadly, u is slightly irregular for nai in that it's going to add a w in here. So it's going to be kama wa nai. Hi. Yeah, we've seen it with kama this mostly nai. just with u becoming iwanai to not say. So that's what that is. So kama wa nai. So does this mean the opposite of being bothered by? Yeah, it means so to I'm not, not bothered. be bothered. Hi. To not be bothered, come out, or to not care about. Come out is to be bothered by. Hi. To be bothered too. Yes. To be bo bothered about. So that kamawanai, if you want it to sound funny, you can say it like this. Can you read it for me? Kamawumai. Hi. Kamawumai. Kamawumai. That's the exact same thing as anai that we saw with the W. Mm. Kamawa nai. But this just feels like older. Theoretically, it's like shall not if you're like looking at the official translation, but it's not really particularly used like that. It just means not, but now old person is talking normally. Mm. Mm. Which fits um, nebody. Money, why you have on the corner light usual? Uh, so most of them have the word light usual in there. It's just so that uh things are easy to copy and paste. And I vaguely forgot to delete the text from the uh base. Hi. So the sentence. Onna koshaku no kyoka ga orita no de. And just to confirm, no day here is not no ni. No yes, day it here is the opposite. Said, therefore, hi. Yasuragi te ni modote mokamao mai. Hi. Uh, kamao can also mean to prohibit. So this could also, you could obviously use the allow to also be like kyoka to. To allow. Kamao mai. Mo kamao mai. Right. This mo is modifying kamao mai. Hi. To even allow. You to modote. Modote. Even allow to return. Hi. To where? Even, even the returning, that is allowed. Hi, hi, hi. To the Yasuragite. Perfect. The Duchess went as far, this more sort of like, um, like it gives a sense of the limit of things. Like she went all the way up to the limit of letting you return mm -hmm. to, to the yeah. quiet place. Made feels a little bit more like the limit, with Mo being more like an example of something within the limit, I guess. Mm hmm. 
And like and it's like Monday what? would feel more aggressive to that limitness than more. So I just thought yeah. more I'd specify that. Like, also in the sense like she's right. also letting you return. But it, it is doing that even uh, meaning here. I just wanted to throw in Bande since you were that. Hi. Hi. My yep. is very strong. So okay. since the Duchess has granted me permission, she probably also granted me permission to return to um, the Twilight Mansion. Because before, in his first letter, he's like, um, uh, Send send a letter to like Bennett or send a letter to this uh inn that I'm in basically, and now he's like okay mm. I can go home now basically but he's using Modoru rather than Kaido but that's kind of the thought process. Modoru um, is to return to a location. Yep. Kaido is to return home. Exactly. And then Kaido with a different kanji is a non living creature returns to a location. Like a voice, for example, koya kaita, a, vo a voice returned. Uh, mm. Do you know how to read this kanji? It's henji. Hi, henji. Perfect. And I'm going to have you read this part. This part is. Mm, it's hard because I don't remember the first kanji. Kuchikakeru. Ie ie wa kuchikakeru. Ie ie wa kuchikakeru. What do you think this means? Mm, the houses are run down, isn't that Exactly, the it is run down. Yep, it is like rotting, basically. Kuchikakeru. Kuchikakeru. Hi, hi, hi. Kuchikakeru. And can you read this example sentence for me? Yatsuragi te wa kuzure kakete iru daro daro. Hi, 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 hi. There's no question. So, 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 so. Uh, kuchikakeru and kuzuredu are very similar words. They have different kanji. Um, I think I had these in the wrong order, but uh, this means to crumble. Kuzure kakete to crumble. Hi, hi. Iru is being. It's being crumble. So, so. Kuzure kakete Crumbling. iru. Da. It seems. Daro is like it seems to be. A or little it is, bit. I think. A little bit. Daro is more like the word probably, but it can be used to mean like I wonder or like you said, isn't it? But it would depend fully on context probably or i wonder would be better uh for me reading this my first thought is probably but it could be i wonder if you wanted to translate it as that would be the ones i would mm. um throw with so what's probably happening with yasuragite it's probably crumbled it's so, probably so. in a state hi hi so kagiru is a word I believe we've seen, which means to be limited to. It is also apparently used to mean the best thing or the best plan or the only way to do something, which is very interesting. So it has the limit, but also good idea. <laughs> kagiru. So the next sentence is going to use it as a good idea. Can you read this for me? Molly, could... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, which is some curious things. I wonder how to read the 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 instruction you had on the slide. It say, "Imi to yomi o iyo." Is that what it, how it's pronounced? Yo, yep. So that's iyo, which is to say. So iyo means like let's say. So let's say the yomi, yo. which is the reading, and the imi, which is the meaning. So the meaning and the meaning. reading. Let's say it. Iyo. <laughs> let's say it. Let's say it. Wakata. Hi. So yomi, super important word as you learn Japanese because searching yomi kata wa on the internet, super useful when you can't find how to read something. Uh, and yomi imi as well, if you can't figure out what something means. Imi wa? Imi wa? Yomi kata? Hi. So you'd add kata, yomi kata, the end of yomi, if you can't find it. This, word, this is especially useful for counters. 
Sometimes couchers can be hard to find. Um, I forgot um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a room, so it's. It's actually mansion. Mansion. So it does start with ya. Yeah. Then it has two more sounds. Ya yeah. shiki. Yeah, yep. Yashiki. Yeah, Perfect. Yashiki wa asoko ni kagiru. Hi. The kind of a weird sentence. The, 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 the best, as for the mansion, the best place is there. <laughs> what that's saying. Uh, that's not asoko the best. Asoko ni. A pretty bad. Um, kagiru is the limit. Uh, so kagiru does mean the limit. In this context, it's meaning the best place. So this is a really weird sentence I made you read. So it literally says the best place is over there for the mansion, um, which doesn't really make sense. I should have not had the mansion here. I should have said asako ni kagiru, which would mean this is the best place is over there. It could mean mm -hmm. that place is limited, limited to that place. But it's meaning uh, in this specific context, it's the best place. It's the choice. You can think it as there's no other choice. That's the only choice we're limited to. Do you happen to know what sagyo means? Isn't that like um, like a book? It's a sagyo, mm -hmm. a, pu a publication. It does have sa in there, but not gyo. Um, uh, I'm not sure what it would be uh, for work. I feel like sosaku would be uh, the origin work, but there is a word that sounds similar to that that is what you're thinking of. But sa-yo is actually just work in general rather than being work like a published work. Published work would be um, something else. Uh, sa-yo. Um, and work here's our last... Hi. So this is he shiki. No, this is ya. Ya shiki wa kuzure kakete iru. Daro ga shakyo suru nara asoko ni kagiru. Regarding the mansions it is probably crumlet yep probably crumbling brand crumbling however shakyo suru nara wa shakyo suru nara nara here is wild while you're thinking about work, Nagara. Well, it's doing. Nagara is wild. Mm. Nara is if or when. If. I would say if is better in this context. Mm -hmm. And it's person specific. So in this case, it's kind of like we, I guess, or they. If they, sagyo suru. If it's work. Uh, if they do it's work, doing... is probably how I translate this. As in, if they work on the ie contextually. If they work on the house, hi, as hi, in hi. if they perform for a pair on the house. Exactly, exactly. Then, if they consider, then asoko ni kagiru, it would be the best. That would be the best. Yes, then that place would that be the best. Limit. So yeah, like Kagiru makes more yes. sense in this sentence than my example sentence earlier where I took off the these parts. Um, but it was good practice for Yashiki reading that. I get it. So that would be the limit because it's the best. You can't yes. go any better. The there, there's no other better the location. Limit. Exactly. 